So a lot of people ask me, for Ty, how do I get into research? How do I get into scholarly activities? Uh, because it's important for fellowship applications, uh, but it's also important for uh, professional development in general. And the answer I typically would give to anybody who's asking me that question is, start with case reports. So in this video, I'll be going over some of the most important things to think about when you're attempting to write a case report. Hi guys and welcome to The Residence Cove. If you're new here, my name is Fatai and I'm a hospitalist in South Carolina. On this channel, I teach medicine and discuss topics around medical education. So if you're into that, please feel free to subscribe or hit the notification button below so you can get the videos as I upload them. So let's talk about writing case reports. The first place you begin when you think you want to write a case report is obviously getting the case. And how do you select the case that is that might be useful, you know, that might actually yield a meaningful outcome when you eventually write it? And the answer also is simple. The rarer the case, the more likely it is to catch attention. So you really want to look for the case that is not that very popular in literature. You want to obviously search literature for that particular case that you've come across and you see how commonly it is reported. If it's not that commonly reported, that might be the case you want to go for because obviously when you invest a lot of time into it you want to have you know some attention to that particular case so that's always the first step get the case the rarer the case the better it is now that you've gotten the case you think it's not commonly reported in literature the next step is to actually write the case as if you're writing you know a regular HMP that you'd normally write you know on your admission for example and just tell the story of the case because that that way you can just lay the story down you know talk about what happened for example in the ED what happened while they were on admission all of the specific things you know the treatment strategies uh, uh, in that particular case and then you talk about the outcome and then figure out the next part where, which is you know discussing the case so the next thing you do after you've obviously gotten the case that you want to report you've checked literature and figured out it's not commonly reported uh, you've written it down like a regular HMP, you know, with all of the components of an HMP, and now you have to discuss it. This is perhaps the more tedious part of the of the work because now you have to go back into literature, look at similar cases, and use those cases to reference uh, a, a lot of the discussions you'll be having. In the discussion, you typically want to go from, for example, again, the presenting. Uh, complaint what is specific what is unique to this case in, in amongst those then you obviously want to go to your diagnostic workup uh, and then you want to go to the treatment modalities and eventually the outcomes the, the prognosis and follow-up and all of that you're using the existing cases to reference what you're doing for example saying you know we did this but these are the other things that could be done for this patient and you're pretty much just giving a back into your approach to the case. And it, it, it opens up in the mind of the reader, for example, what is unique about the case, how they should typically work up the case, how they should treat the case, and you know what is to be expected in the outcomes uh, uh, of those particular uh, you know, cases. And you know, obviously you've done just one part of it and you're using the other uh, cases that you're referencing to present the other parts of the, the whole story of this particular case. So obviously discussion tends to be a little bit more uh, tedious, but again, that's really where you want to show your, or you just show that you have a command, uh, you have an understanding of what you're saying in the first place. Um, so yes, discussion is truly the, you know, the bulk of the work that has to be done. You're in conclusion. You have to obviously put all of the things you talked about from the introduction of the case to your case itself and to your discussion and then eventually what did you expect that people should do after they've read the case. So for example, some people would use the things that you're talking about and some people would further go into research about that particular case. There's obviously a lot of unknowns, so you definitely want to talk about those unknowns and encourage people to pursue those unknowns in that particular case. So that's typically it. Um, if you have any questions about this particular topic, you can definitely um, reach out to me via the comments below or you find me on social media. I have a, an active Instagram where you can find me as well. I'll leave that here. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending the time. I hope you find this useful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.